This is a homework helper, helper for the problem solving process. Now the problem solving process is a way to help dissect and to really get down and find out the information in a word problem. The word problems really rely, rely a lot on comprehending what the question is saying, what the information is. So we teach the kids the problem solving process. I like to call it IPAC. We've used that for a long time. IPAC stands for Find the information, identify the information, what's important, what's not important. Make a plan. What are you going to do with the information? What is the question really saying? Find the answer by making a number sentence or maybe several number sentences. Could be a two or three step process. And then check your answer by using the inverse operation or by maybe doing it again if the inverse operation doesn't work for you. Here's an example. Here's a word problem that says, Walter ran five laps around the track each day for ten days. How many laps did he run in all? The first thing we have the kids do is identify the important information. It doesn't really matter who ran the laps. So the kids' names, that's kind of distracting. But it was five laps around the track for ten days. So one of the things we have the kids do is to draw a picture, make a picture. You're trying to make a plan. So we'll say it's 10 days Now that's the quickest representation of days that we can teach our students. Then each day he ran five laps. So you might put a five inside there representing that this is 10 days and that each day had five laps. He ran five laps. That gives a pretty good pictorial model of what the question's asking. So now you can say to yourself, let's think about a plan. Here's all the information. Now I need a plan. What am I going to do? Am I going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? We have to really consider what we're doing. We're talking about 10 days. There's five laps in each day. Looks like a multiplication problem. It's 10 times 5. So we can say, okay, we're going to multiply. And we're going to say that it's uh, <clears throat> 10 times 5. And we know that 10 times 5 is 50. But let's go back and make sure that our answer now fits with the question. How many laps did he run in all? He ran 5 laps each day for 10 days. I set up my plan was to multiply it at 10 times 5 was 50. I've marked all my information. I'm pretty sure that that's correct. I could go back now and, and count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I've double checked it by using repeated addition. I could go back and double check my uh, multiplication if I wanted to. That's an easy uh, way to show the problem solving process IPAC. So we had a plan, we got an answer, and then we checked it. Here's another example. Walter and three friends shared a pizza. The pizza had eight slices and they each had the same amount of pizza. How many slices did each kid get? Let's talk about the information first. Walter and three friends. Well, there you go. Now it's important that we understand Walter represents one. So we'll say, okay, Walter and three friends. Keyword is and, and three friends. That's one plus three. Now we're talking about four people. So let's write down, again, a representation of four people, just so I can keep that thought in my head. One thing we like to teach the kids is to go one sentence at a time. Pick that problem apart one sentence at a time. If you can make a picture while you're doing it, even better. Shared a pizza. The pizza had eight slices. Let's draw a pizza. There's a real quick pizza with eight slices. Four kids, eight slices, and they each had the same amount. Even Stephen sounds like division. We teach the kids to realize that when we're dividing things, it's always going to be even Stephen. How many slices did each kid get? Well, we've got four kids here. We've got eight slices. So what we could do is we could say, this is kid number one, kid number two, kid number three, kid number four. They, if they all had the same, we could say one, two, three, four. And then kid one had another piece, two, three, four. Four. Well, let's see. Each kid looks like he's getting two pieces, but the question says, how many slices did each kid get? Looks like two. So our plan was to draw a picture. 
It was to set up a little diagram here. It was to do some simple picture models. Our answer we got was each kid got two pieces of pizza. And to check it, we can go back, look at our model. We can see if that works for it. Or we could set up eight divided by four kids is two. We know that two times four is eight. That's the problem solving process. We call it IPAC just to help the kids remember information, make a plan, get an answer, and check. And if they do that every time they read through a word problem, and if they work it one sentence at a time, make a picture, they can get this, they can solve the problems. It's not so much about computation because this is not a difficult math problem. It's more about understanding what is being asked in the questions, more about comprehension than it is about computation. This is Homework Helper. This is for IPAC, the problem solving process. Practice it. Read through lots of problems. Practice doing the four steps, identifying information, your plan, your answer, your check, and you'll solve lots of problems that way.